everybody and welcome back to Suburban Gardening. I am Amanda in Zone 8A in the Dallas, Texas suburbs. Today I am going to pull out zucchini plants and we're going to look for a squash vine borer. So we're going to go ahead and take the cage off and the supports that I put in. And so I showed this in the other video but you can see there's like holes in this uh, frat from where the squash vine borer has um, dug in. So we're gonna see if we can dissect this and find squash vine borer. So we're just going to pull this zucchini out. There we go. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any of, of these squash vine borers. We're gonna just cut this open and you can see how they just burrow in. And basically they rob the plant of water and they kill your, your zucchini plant. Let me see. This one needs, some of these leaves I'm just going to cut off to get out of the way. Oh, I, that might be one right here. Let's see. Okay. So that is what they look like. And they they just get bigger over time. There's my hand. That is the culprit. And there's probably several in this plant. So these leaves that I'm cutting off, I'm just checking to see if, if they have frats in them like this one, or if they're hollow and empty like like this. If it's hollow and empty then there's not going to be a vine borer in there but if there's frets there possibly could be. I don't think this one has has a vine borer. I see some frets but hmm. Oh, he's coming out. Look. You see this right here? Oh, he's moving. That's a bigger one. You see that? Oh, I think I just cut him in half. That was that's his tail end right there. That's his tail end. And he's the rest of him is in here. So here's a bigger one. Of course, I cut off his tail tail end right there. I think there's another one right in here. I think that he he might be dead already because I might have cut him in half too when I cut the vine. And there's at least part. So gross. I do not like wormy things. I don't like bugs in general. Uh, yeah. So yeah, these are nasty little boogers. They just come and they make these holes, they burrow in, make these holes, and they'll just eat up your plant, derive it of water. Let's see what we got in here. Lots of Oh, there's there's one. There's another one. Right there. Try and get him out. Eesh. Come on. There he is. Yeah, ew, gross. So I'm sure there's probably several more vine borers in, in that zucchini plant. The dirt that I had 
this planted in, I am going to probably throw out, you could probably reuse it, just not for any squash type plant, but I think I am probably going to throw it out and refill this so I can use it for something and not have worries that there's going to be eggs in here or larvae eating my plants. I am also going to pull out the rest of my squash and zucchini plants here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look how many vine borers are in here. I can see three just right off. That is so disgusting. I'm going to hurry up and get these out so I can get them in the trash bin. Put them all in the trash bin. Let's talk about how to get rid of squash vine borers if you have them or how to prevent them in the first place. And this isn't necessarily a one solution for everything. You might have to use many of these solutions. First, you wanna plant your squash as soon as possible. You want to beat the insect pressure. So this is planting still when you might be getting frost. You just have to be prepared with frost covers to cover your squash and or bring them indoors. You don't want to plant squash in the same location year after year because they can overwinter in the soil in a cocoon. So that's, they're just going to be there again next year. A physical barrier is probably one of the best ways to prevent squash vine borers in the first place. So this would be like putting a netting such as tool over your plant. However, you either need to remove the tool once you start getting flowers, once you see a female flower and you have a male flower, you need to remove the tool so you can get pollination, or you can hand pollinate by the female flowers have the little fruit behind the actual flower and the male flowers do not. So you can take pollen from the male flower using a paintbrush and paint it onto the female flower and do hand pollination and keep the row covered. However, if that's not for you, you can uncover it and just let the pest come at that point in time. But at least then your plant has a head start in maturity and you getting fruit. You can also try covering the stem with aluminum foil to prevent the squash vine borers from getting into the stem. Also, I've heard you can try using nylon stockings around the stem to prevent them from boring in. I have not tried any of these methods. Obviously my, my squash had the squash vine borers, so these are things I might consider next year. So as far as prevention and maybe on the early stages, you could use diatomaceous earth. This is a white powder and you can sprinkle this around the base of the plant. Now, of course you have to always reapply if it gets wet from watering or rain. You can also try pyrethrian, um, insert it into the stem. You can try the same thing with BT, which is like Psyllis thuringiensis. I'll put links in the description below because I definitely am not very good at pronouncing these big words, <laughs> scientific names. So if you do the injections, I hear you inject the insecticide once a week into the stem. I haven't tried any of these methods. Obviously my squash had <laughs> many squash vine borers in them. You can also try moth traps, which is like the yellow sticky trap where, you know, if a flying insect flies into it, which would be the adult that's laying the eggs, uh, they will get trapped. Now, of course, this could also catch beneficial insects or your pollinators if they happen to be near it. And there's many different versions of moth traps as well. And of course, if you catch the vine borers early on, you can use a knife to dig into the stem and cut it out, or you can use a wire to poke up into the hole that they burrowed into and dig in and get the borer out that way. I haven't tried any of these methods. I think this might be a multi-solution effort to prevent squash vine borers. So I'm thinking maybe next year I will try planting my squash early and being prepared with frost covers for the frost and also keeping them covered with tool to prevent the adults from flying in and laying the eggs to begin with. But I don't know if I'm going to have it in me to hand pollinate. So I might just be counting on I, my plant has a head start and I prevented the insect pest
pressure until the flowers start to bloom. And then at that point, it's just a race against the clock. That could be an option. Um, it could be, I open it up and then I put some of those yellow sticky traps around and hoping that if any adults do come by, they get caught in the traps, but that's not a foolproof method either. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos.